Welcome to Boaz Pre-K. We are very excited that your child will be a part of our Pre-K family this year. Pre-K is so much fun and your child will grow so much throughout the school year. This presentation will provide you with helpful information regarding the Pre-K school year. This is the contact information for Boaz Elementary. If you have not already, we ask that you please download the Boaz City Schools app. This app provides notifications on activities and important information pertaining to school. This app will also notify you of early dismissals in case of severe weather and any other early dismissal days. This is what the Boaz City Schools app looks like. The next few slides will introduce you to the Boaz Pre-K teachers. Pre-K number one is Miss Bobby White and Miss Jackie Webb. Pre-K number two is Miss Anna Vaughn and Miss Sheena Sims. Pre-K number three is Miss Lana Bryan and Miss Glenda Hunkapiller. Pre-K number four is Miss Allison Kilpatrick and Miss Kim Mason. Pre-K number five is Miss Randy Cofield and Miss Taylor Scott. Boaz Elementary Pre-K students will follow the Boaz City School System Handbook and the Alabama Early Childhood Education OSR guidelines. BES Pre-K follows the BCSS Handbook for dress code. Pre-K fees. Pre-K fees are $10 or $25 per week based on an income form you will fill out. Pre-K fees are due every Monday starting August 24th. You will not be required to pay the weeks of Thanksgiving, Christmas, and spring break. These fees will cover enrichment materials and activities for your child. You can choose to pay these fees weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. Drop-off time is from 7 to 7.30 each morning. Car riders will be dropped off in front of the school building and will enter without assistance. There will be teachers out in the hallways to help your child to their classroom. Your child will be given a lanyard to wear the first day they come to school. This lanyard will be put on them every afternoon and includes their name, their teacher's name, and if they are a car rider or a bus rider. This is very helpful at the beginning of the year. We ask that your child wear this lanyard every day for the first few weeks of school. School begins at 7.30. Students will be counted tardy at 7.40. If your child is tardy, you must call the office upon arrival for instructions on how your child will enter the building. The office number is listed below. Staggered start. Your child will come to school in groups of nine the first two days of school. Your child will only come one of those two days. There will be more information to come that will let you know which day your child will come to school. Breakfast procedures. Breakfast is provided each morning for every student at no cost beginning at 7 o'clock. If your child is tardy, please be sure to feed your child at home. We ask that you not bring breakfast items to school. Lunch procedures. Each child will be given a lunch number, whether your child eats in the lunchroom or not. Please practice this number at home with your child. You may choose for your child to bring lunch from home. Please make sure it is in a lunch box and that they have healthy choices to eat. Please practice at home making sure your child can open their lunch items by themselves. To apply for free or reduced lunch online, you can go to myschoolapps.com. 
The full price for lunch is $2.75 daily or $13.75 weekly. The reduced price is $0.40 cents daily or $2 weekly. We do encourage you to pay your child's lunch fees online at myschoolbucks.com. If you choose to send lunch money in your child's folder, please put it in an envelope and label it lunch money. Please put your child's name and lunch number on the envelope. Checks need to be made out to BESCMP with your child's name and lunch number on the check. Snack. Your child will have a snack at school daily. You can choose to send a snack from home or buy a snack at school for $1 each day. This will provide your child with a food item and a drink item. Some examples of snacks on the snack card at school are chips, popcorn, gummies, juice, and water. If you send a snack from home, please be sure it includes a food and a drink. If you choose to send snack money, please be sure to label it snack money. Your child will receive a money pouch in their folder. This will be where you put snack money, fee money, and lunch money. Again, please label the money when you send it. This is very helpful for us. We will check this money pouch each day. Nap time. All pre-K students will be provided with a napping cot, sheet, and cover. For help purposes, please do not send stuffed animals, pillows, or blankets. The school day ends at 2.35. Bus riders will begin to load at this time. Car riders will also begin loading at this time. If your child is a car rider, they must be picked up no later than 3 o'clock. Transportation procedures. If transportation changes, please send a note in your child's folder or call the office as soon as possible. If you do not let the teacher know, your child will follow their normal transportation routine. If school is dismissed early, your child will follow normal transportation routine unless the teacher is notified otherwise. If your child is a car rider, you will be given a car tag with your child's name on it. This car tag must hang from your rear view mirror while you are in the car line. If you need an additional car tag, you may purchase one for $2. Please let your child's teacher know if you need an additional car tag. If you or someone else comes to pick up your child without a car tag, they will have to show identification and get approval from the office staff. This is for your child's safety. This is what the car tag will look like. It will have your child's name, their grade, and the teacher's name. Your child will be given a folder that will be sent home daily. Please check this folder daily and send it back to school in your child's backpack. This is how we send important papers that need to be signed other informational papers, and your child's schoolwork. Please remove any schoolwork papers and sign and return any important papers. This is what your child's folder will look like. When you open it up, on the left-hand side, there is a place that says Return to School. This is where we will put papers that need to be signed and sent back to school. This is also where you may put absence notes, and any other important papers that you need to get to your child's teacher. Please check this every day and sign and return any papers on the left side. On the right side, it says keep at home. This is where we will put papers that can be left at home or your child's schoolwork. Please check this every day and remove any papers from the right side. Absence procedures. In order for an absence to be excused, a parent note or doctor's excuse must be provided. Your child can be dismissed from the program for too many unexcused absences, 
So it is important that your child is here daily. Accidents do happen in pre-K. So we will provide you with a large Ziploc bag and we ask that you put the following clothing items inside. This bag will stay at school every day. The following items need to be put in the bag. T-shirt, pants or shorts, underwear, socks, shoes or flip-flops. We will send these home once or twice a year as the weather changes for you to send different clothes. If your child has to change clothes at school, please send another set back to school. Please put your child's name on each of the clothing items, especially jackets when the weather starts getting cool. Please also apply sunscreen on your child daily, especially during warm weather. We will be going outside a lot. You can send sunscreen to leave at school. Just write your child's name on the sunscreen bottle. This is what the clothes bag will look like. It has a list of things that need to be put in the bag. Again, this will stay at school every day. Backpack suggestions. Please provide a large, regular size backpack for your child to use. Make sure to put your child's name on it somewhere visible. Remember to wipe down or spray your child's backpack daily upon arrival at home. Sickness. Please check your child's temperature every morning before coming to school. If it is 100.4 or higher, your child must stay home. If your child is at school and they have a temperature of 99.5 or higher with symptoms or 100.4 without symptoms, your child will be sent home. If your child is sent home with COVID symptoms and a fever, they will have to be seen and cleared by a doctor before returning to school or quarantined for 14 days. The COVID symptoms are fever, muscle or body aches, headache, new loss of taste or smell, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, chills, cough, runny nose, diarrhea, sore throat, or fatigue. Toilet training. Your child must be toilet trained to attend ECE OSR Pre-K. If not, your child may be dismissed from the program. If your child has a medical condition that causes toileting issues, you will need to provide a written medical diagnosis from your child's physician. Pre-K does not send home report cards. Each parent is required to complete the Ages and Stages questionnaire, which will be mailed to you and any ECE, OSR, or BCSS paperwork or information forms. You will be required to participate in two virtual and or phone parent conferences. There will be one in the fall and one in the spring. Parent involvement hours. In pre-K, you are required to have 12 total parent enrichment hours. This is for the whole school year. You will receive hours for watching this orientation PowerPoint. Some other ways to earn parent hours are parent conferences, pre-K prep day, activity calendars, which will be sent home monthly, Seesaw, and Epic. We will give more information on these activities throughout the school year. Thank you so much for watching this presentation. We are looking forward to a great school year with your child.